from the things that in the unit back home now, President Bola Tinubu has directed his ministers to embark on propagation of the activities of the administration, including the policies and programs aimed at transforming the country for the good of all. The presidential media team revealed this at the meeting periodic media briefing at the State House. State House correspondent Musbao Danwahab feeds us. The Tinubu administration is over 15 months into its mandate. The eight points renewed hope agenda of the government are gradually being translated from paper to reality. Campaign promises such as the student loan scheme, compressed natural gas CNG initiative are equally manifesting. But the administration is of the view that not so many Nigerians know about its transformative policies and programs already in the works. President Bola Tinubu is certainly not satisfied that not so much is heard about the effort of his administration, hence a marching order to the ministers to embark on a vigorous publicity going forward. Some people feel the government is not doing anything, and government has been doing a lot. And he believes that it is up to them to go out there and blow their trumpets. They should not even wait for people to blow for them. They should go out and talk about what their ministries have been doing. The presidential advisor also enumerated some imminent executive bills coming to reform some critical aspects of the economy. These include the National Identity Management Commission's Amendment Bill, which seeks the inclusion of foreigners on its system. If the National Assembly passes that bill, it provides that all, everybody living in Nigeria, foreigners, all of them will now be registered and be given in, especially once you are, you are doing some work here and you are earning income, you will be registered and be given in so that you can be taxed. Your name will give you your, your, your kind of tax identity and you can also be taxed. You come under our, our tax uh, structure. The government is also aiming to lay emphasis on the national currency as against dollarization of the nation's economy. This is to be done with some adjustments to the operating laws of NIMASA and the Nigeria Port Authority. That all their fees, charges, levies, fines and other monies accruing to them and payable to those agencies may now be paid in Naira at the applicable exchange rate. I think it at all those agencies only were charging in dollars, but now they can always now collect it in Naira. At this stage, you may ask if you have enough funding to disburse to the students who had applied. For those wondering how the government intends to fund the student loan scheme, the presidential media team says that would be addressed with an amendment to the Ted Fund Act. 30% of whatever Ted Fund gets from the federation account will now be passed on to Nelfon. So that will provide a ready-made uh, source of funding to Nelfon. The government is actually quite positive and happy that a lot of its programs are achieving um, desired results, especially in some um, sectors. For instance, agriculture expanded by 3.2%. Uh, we're seeing more enhanced local pro production. We're seeing a lot more exports. Um, the same things with the telecommunications industry, which has expanded by about 9.1% because of new investments in both digital infrastructure, um, for instance, the laying fiber optics across the country, and um, also you know, investments in um, new, new areas in technology. In addition, FDIs continue to rise. Um, the foreign reserves are also rising. And on the much-awaited cabinet reshuffle by the administration, the media team says that decision remains the prerogative of the president who had, from the outset, hinted on reviews of the performances of his aides. From the State House, Musbao, Nanwahab, NC News. All right.